Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on Twitter, GoPro X and CHK on the daily weekly time frame. So the Twitter bulls are not going down without a fight here. They're battling to hold this support. We have multiple inside bars in a row now. Support is 2030 and resistance is 2093. Whichever breaks first is going to give us short-term direction. With a bear break, we're going to look at a break of 2012 down to $20 psychological support. And with a bull break of 2093 and 2094, we're going to be looking up at 21 psychological and then 2112 for the bulls to see some follow through. So nice setup to be watching for tomorrow for a day trade in either direction, depending on how it breaks. The bulls do have favor because we closed up near the high of the day. And that's pretty impressive because the tech sector overall did not see a strong close at the end of the day. So we'll see if the Twitter bulls are able to buck that trend a little bit and do their own thing with the bull break tomorrow. Weekly chart still holding exponential supports, trying to form a bullish reversal candlestick on the weekly. And this is an inside bar so far with three trading days left to go. GoPro following through with the bears, not surprising as we close at the low of the day with a lack of support. Support is now 8 psychological. We bounced off of 804. After 8 is 796. If we break that level, it's a bear flag on the weekly being confirmed, and we're then looking down at 789 and 757 as the next two supports. Every red day that we have, the odds of this bear flag being confirmed on the weekly increase substantially. Bears in full control of GoPro with our resistance on the weekly. 878 anything under 878 keeps the bears in control that's the guideline and the hurdle now that the bulls have to get over to prove that they're shifting momentum x bulls bought the dip great sign after the gap down open bearish reversal gravestone doji yesterday gap down open bulls bought the dip holding exponential supports and continue to grind along the upper bollinger band resistance 3005 and 3058 are two resistance levels support is 2908 and the bulls are looking to maintain higher lows. Weekly time frame still grinding the upper Bollinger Band, not expecting the bulls to get over that level unless we see some big volume days with three trading days left this week. But it's been very clear that the bulls have been struggling at this upper Bollinger Band for the past couple months. And there's no need to break above it to be strong. It would be nice for the bulls. But this daily chart continues to just form higher lows and higher highs ever since we closed above that 50 week resistance. Remember, we were watching that for a month. We closed above it and we've been running for the two weeks following it. CHK on the daily time frame, continuing to favor the bears. Support is 391 and then down to 377. Upper wicks rejecting from the 100-day moving average resistance. Rejections from the weekly middle Bollinger Band continue. Must hold 377 or we're looking right back down to 341. If 377 can hold, the bulls are going to have to get over the 100-day moving average resistance and break 425 and 427 for a clear bull break. It's still worth watching for the potential of a trend change on the weekly but natural gas is falling apart again, and I wouldn't be entering this trade on anything except for bull momentum, breaking the range, shifting the trend, and breaking 427 resistance. So at this point, it's worth keeping an eye on, but not liking any bullish entries until we get clear signals and clear bullish momentum. I appreciate you watching. We will see you tomorrow.